Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to solve question three from the KCSE Mathematic Paper 1, uh, 2021. Some people will call this paper 2020, so I'm uh, suggesting you go and check and see which paper you uh, call this one. So we're told without using a calculator or mathematical tables, evaluate all this so evaluate means find the value of all this not in index form you have to give one number at the end right so we can see our numbers have powers it means these numbers are in in index form we need to investigate the numbers first before we are able to solve this easily so I'm looking at 49, I can see this is a square number, which is 7 squared. And I can see 2 here, so they will probably cancel out. So I go to 256, I know that number is 16 times 16. It's always good to know some squared numbers, maybe up to... 25 times 25 but if you can do 20 times 20 up to those numbers that will be really uh, useful for you then i'm going to check 2401 what can i do with this number right it's not a multiple of 10 it doesn't end with zero it's not an even number so i couldn't write this as 2 to the power something or something like that or 6 to the power something because this number is an odd number then i want to check it can i write in terms of three so let me see is this number divisible by three i'll add the digits two plus four six plus zero plus one gives me seven so this number cannot be written as three to the power something because it's not a multiple of three also, this number is not a multiple of 9 because the numbers are, if when you add them, they are not multiples of 9, which means really I'm left with uh, trying a 7 because I can see I have a 7 here uh, where 49 is. So I'm going to try a 7. So on my investigation, I came up with 7. Uh, this one is 7 to the power 4. And I tried to do it easily because I know I got 1 here and I got 49. So if I did 49 times 49, I know 9 times 9 is 81. So my last number is going to be 1. So that gave me a hint. So I know that's going to be 7 squared times 7 squared, which is 7 to the power 4. Now with 256, I'm going to write it here. That's 16 times 16. And you know this is 2 to the power 4, and that's 2 to the power 4. So this gives you 2 to the power 8. I'm now ready to tackle this question. So I'm going to write this down as 49, 7 squared. And then I still have my power outside, 3 over 2. Now times, or this, 256, I've worked that out, which is 2 to the power 8. And then 2401, I worked that out. That's going to be 7 squared times 7 squared, which is 7 to the power 4. So this is 7 to the power 4. And don't forget the power outside, which is 3 quarters. Right then, so now I can use the bracket law and... Um, simplify this number. So I need to multiply the powers out in order to simplify. So 2 times 3 over 2, that's going to give me 3. So this number is 7 to the power 3. And then 2 to the power 8 times 3 quarters. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So that top number is going to be 2 to the power 6. And the bottom number needs to be multiplied by this power as well because the bracket goes all the way down. Uh, so 7 to the power 4 times this power 3 quarters. 4 divided by 4 is 1 and then I'm left with 1 times 3 which is 3. So over here I have 7 to the power 3. If I divide this 7 to the power 3 divided by 7 to the power 3 I get a 1. And then 1 times 2 to the power 6. 
2 to the power 6 is 64. So you got, uh, you know how to do that one. So the answer to this one uh, is 64. If you've enjoyed this uh, session, please remember to like. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.